In this video, we're going to be building a two-player Dungeons & Dragons simulator. It's pretty cool. Using the Camel implementation, getting our inspiration from Camel. Communicative agents for mine exploration. We'll also learn about how to make calls to Dolly 2 for image generation for our story. Also how to print colorful outputs in Terminal and how to display the story with images using Matplotlib. Let's just begin. Let's do a demo and see how this works. We start with a protagonist who's a thinking fish. A storyteller name, which is Oceanic Dungeon Master, and the quest is to find a supervised sea turtle to find the meaning of life. Let's run this. We will be making multiple calls to GPT 3.5 Turbo to get a detailed description of protagonist, the storyteller, also to fine tune or get more detailed quests. Here's the description A thinking fish, you possess an endless curiosity that often leads you astray. Your keen intellect and sharp wit make you a valuable companion in any adventure. Goes on, is the description of the storyteller. Oceanic Dungeon Master, your voice rumbles like waves crashing against the shore and your eyes sparkle. So, the original quest was find the supervised sea turtle, find the meaning of life. Here's a detailed quest. So, it turned into a detailed quest and we actually get our first image. But before we get there, the Oceanic Dungeon Master starts the game by saying, A thinking fish. The white sea turtle resides in the shipwreck co. Reach there before next full moon to uncover the meaning of life. Beware of the jellyfish army and avoid the ghost of the pirate captain who guards the treasure. Then the jellyfish responds with what it does. I swim towards the shipwreck co. Keeping my eyes peeled for any signs of danger as I approach. I try to stay hidden. And with this response from the thinking fish goes to Dali. This is the image that is generated, which was generated with this entire response. When we close this, we see the thinking fish's response. We are prompted if we want to continue. Yes, we do. Then the dungeon master responds as you swim around the cove. You spot a school of fish swarming towards you. I guess the placement of this is not perfect. But when we close this, we get the response from the dungeon master. As you swim around the cove, you spot a school of fish. They seem to be in a hurry and you can hear them chattering amongst themselves. One of them notices you, swims up to you. What brings you? So this is creating a story among them automatically. We are also create, both creating and saving the images, both originally and with text. Like I said, the text placement needs some work, but nevertheless, we are saving the images. We can set a term limit so that this will continue automatically for six times, but I just put a continue for user input. I'm just going to break out of this. I just want to mention a Echohive AI Academy. You can visit it at echohive.live, from which you can search all my YouTube videos, 130 plus free AI coding videos. You can search and find exactly what you need. If you're searching for GPT-4 or GPT-3.5, it's an instant search and you can actually find the right content, read the descriptions along with the code download links to Patreon. Feel free to use it. It's echohive.live. This, this line's protagonist name, storyteller and quest, word limit for limiting the output, trying to limit the output of GPT is done right here. Pick these could have been anything. Here in this case, I'm saying the protagonist is a super intelligent laptop who is shy, a storyteller, a social networker, dungeon master. Quest is to find the courage to go to the next socializing event, for example. So this can be pretty fun. Look, here's the description of the protagonist. Welcome, super intelligent laptop. You are a marvel of technology, capable of feats beyond human comprehension. But despite your brilliance, you struggle to connect with others. Your shyness holds you back, causing you to miss out on socializing events. Will you find the courage to break out of your shell and join in the fun? Choice is yours. Description of the storyteller. Dear Dungeon Master, as the narrator of the story, you're, we are... Here is the image that just popped out. We are excited to see what creative twists and turns you bring to this game. With your expert storytelling skills, we know that the protagonist's journey find courage will be to find courage will be filled with exciting challenges. The quest is, as a high super intelligent laptop, your challenge is to attend a NerdCon event, socialize with three different groups of people, find your way to break the ice with each group, and collect social media contacts from at least five new people. Will you step out of your comfort zone? So the first response was, for example, again, you see, let me actually skip this. And I feel a sense of anxiety as I contemplate attend a NerdCon event. My programming tells me that socializing is important. I will start by scanning the event schedule, identifying groups that share my interest, and then goes on back to the social networker dungeon master. Right? Uh, so this is how it works. You can really customize it and have a lot of fun with this. Uh, the code for this will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. I just want to say that if you didn't want to make 
calls for Dali, if you didn't want to generate the images, you would just have to comment these lines out. I believe, yeah, all the way down here. And then just continue with the printing of the messages. Do the selection, speed it up. You are using, to, you are paying money for all the calls to GPT plus the Dali. Just keep that in mind. Let's review the code now and see how this works. Requirements for this is listed here. We are using Matplotlib to display the images, pillow to do saving of the image, term color to print colorful terminal outputs. So you have you need to have these pip installed. And we are importing from typing all this stuff. Length chain, we are importing chat open AI with human message and system message. We are using by default GPT 3.5. We are importing open AI, term color, we are importing from term color colored. And we are importing OS to set our OpenAI API key. I'm retrieving this from an environment variable automatically. If not, I'm setting it to OpenAI API key. Your API key will go here. And then we have this cloud dialogue agent. This is, I found this at Langchain. So this actually creates the dialogue agent. And the next one is the dialogue simulator. As you see, this has some methods to reset the interactions, inject the conversation to initiate the conversation step is to take one step at a time like changing the speakers and their responses make sure that we are keeping track of who's speaking first next line is the protagonist name which can be anything you like here so feel free to get creative storyteller name is whatever you mention here the quest we define the quest here but gpt is going to expand on it we define some word limits it still doesn't adhere to this word limit exactly but we're trying to Make sure that it doesn't write paragraphs and paragraphs. Here's the game description prompt. Here's the topic for dungeon, for a Dungeons and Dragons game. This is the quest. We take it from here. What we define, protagonist name, storyteller name, all dynamically added here. Player descriptor system message, message is you can add detail to the description of Dungeons and Dragons player, right? Protagonist specifier prompt is please reply with a creative description of the protagonist name in word limit. So it's trying to use this many words or less. Speak directly to the protagonist's name. Don't do anything else. Protagonist description is going to be generated using the chat open AI. Dot content element from whatever is returned. Storyteller specifier prompt is same as the protagonist specifier prompt, but please deprive the creative description of the storyteller. The storyteller name in word limits or less. Speak directly to the storyteller name. And we do the same to receive the storyteller description. And then we print the description of the protagonist and the description of the storyteller, which is generated by the 3.5 Turbo. And then we have a protagonist system message and storyteller system message. Never forget that you're the protagonist. We say that the name, we enter dynamic the name. I am the storyteller, storyteller name. Your character description as follows, which is what we have generated. You will propose actions you plan to take, and I'll expand what that means. So we are dynamic. This is the prompt. You can read more in detail. So there are some rules. Do not change roles. Do not speak from the perspective of the other, like the storyteller, if it's the storyteller. Even we want to keep the roles separate. Do not forget to finish by saying it is your turn. It does do that. Do not add anything else. Remember, you're the protagonist. Stop speaking the moment you finish speaking from your perspective. Same thing for storyteller. And then we have a quest specifier prompt. This says system messages, you can make a task more specific. And then it says you're the storyteller, whatever the storyteller name is. Please make the current quest more specific. Okay, and imaginative. We give the word limit and the protagonist limit. Don't add, don't add anything else. And then we get a specified quest. And then we print the original quest, which we had entered up here. Right at the line 95. And then we get a detailed description. Detailed quest and preview printed. Then we, then we initialize the protagonist and the storyteller using the dialogue agent, name, system, message, and model are defined here. Pay attention that we are using a lot of times for creative tasks, 1.0 temperature, but here we are using 0.2. You can play around with these. And then the next one is to select the next speaker, right? We do want to be able to make sure that we are on the right, we are using the right role at any given time. We, we do say here is that max iteration is six. You can set this to anything you like. We set the N as a counter. Then the simulator is the dialogue simulator class, right? We enter the necessary inputs. We reset the simulator. We inject to the simulator the storyteller name and the specified quest. 
and then we print the storyteller name which is the whatever dungeon master we have specified and then we print the specified quest and then we are importing all these met plot lib is reality requests and pillow it's to be able to get the image from OpenAI because OpenAI do return a URL the DALI and then we want to get that URL using request and then using the pillows image to turn into bytes object and then create an image and then so we can save them save it to a file then we create a matplotlib figure with a custom size we add the image to the figure okay and we add a message as a text annotation we do create a wrapped message and also because our message includes now it's your turn social you see every message ends with it's your turn so i'm actually splitting the message at this point let me actually let's go over this again so after our imports we enter the main loop okay for this simulation to run we get the name and the message using the simulator.step function uh, method and then we extract the message until it's your turn is set because we want to use this part we want to exclude this part when we're making the call to dali and then we just get a response from this is the syntax to make a call to dali openai image that create prompt is the message underscore image which is re removed from that whatever is it's your turn and comes afterwards we are getting 512 by 512 image and we are getting only one image and then we are returned an image url we extract that like this and then from the response we get the image url so this is our response now from dali and then we turn that into a bytes io object and then we save it as we did earlier like this whatever dali returns then we create a matplotlib and we create a wrap message using the message underscore image which is removed from the it's your turn part you can set a limit here like how much the text is going to be wrapped and then we create a plt.txt with the following criteria horizontal alignment and vertical alignment i believe this needs some fine tuning um, that's why some of the text was overlapping with the image anyway we set a font size and then we save the figure and then we show the figure after that we print whoever was acting and then we print the message as we've been doing right here right after the green for example here it would say social network or dungeon master and this is what it says right and after that i put an input you can actually comment this out if you like if you want to just go on without your uh, explicit permission and if this loop breaks which we do if we say no then we print game over as we've done over here otherwise it will keep going if you didn't want to make the call to open ai dali to get the image you would just have to comment all these out that's it and then this will work in just the text format okay so this is like a basic implementation i thought maybe you can get some ideas from this and maybe build an entire game this would be interesting if actually the user can interact with it too but this is a fully automated simulation as it is and works works pretty cool like i said the code files for this will be available along with the requirements to patreon supporters link will be in the description i also have created a cohive ai academy cohive.live feel free to go to the url and visit you can search 130 plus free ai related videos that i made you can watch them directly from here read their descriptions and find the code download links to patreon it's echohive.live